Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Heart Gold. In the last episode, we went to the Whirl Islands and we caught Lugia, which was a level 70 legendary Pokemon. In this episode, I'm here at Route 24, I think it is, uh, because there's an area that we unlocked once we got all eight of the Kanto Gym badges in Cerulean City, of all places. This is kind of like a, a famous spot. It's like, you know, the spot in uh, the Kanto games where you can basically train it all. This is Cerulean Cave. This is only open to you after you get the eight gym badges because uh, there's a guy standing right out front that says, hey, you need gym badges. Unfortunately, it requires Flash, Rock Smash, Rock Climb, and Surf, and Strength, possibly. So uh, yeah, it really sucks. So my team here is a little rough. I have Cubone and Bellsprout taking up some spots. I didn't really want to get rid of many of the other team members because they all have something I need. Top spot having a resistance I need. Leviathan has Surf. Uh, Napalm has Dig to get out of here. Daisy has Sleep. I had to choose to get rid of uh, Meganium because she has the best chance to, or he has the best chance to paralyze. So, you know. It's very rough. Anyway, this is like a very, very large dungeon, so we're gonna be in here in a while, for a while, so get very comfy. Uh, there's a lot of really cool Pokemon that you can get here. Uh, I'm gonna be changing the scene here quite a bit, but um, Wobbuffet, this is the highest level. This is basically everything in this dungeon is going to be the highest level you can get it at. Wobbuffet, Electrode, Machoke, Parasect, Primate, Persian, Magneton, Ditto, which I don't know why you'd want a high level ditto and Golbats. Uh, you can also find like a few water types uh, just surfing, but uh, there's quite a bit. Also, this is the only TM in the place. So if you just want that, it's kind of the easiest item to get Thunderbolt, which can be taught to Leviathan. And it is very enticing. And I, hmm, let me think. No, no, I'm not going to do it just in case I want to save it for someone else, but uh, because Leviathan has Discharge and honestly, that's fine for the most part. It's a little weaker, but it still has a chance to paralyze. It still, you know, does damage. So we're going to leave it at that. It's not like Blizzard where it's just kind of a completely different move in some ways, just by accuracy wise and all that. But no, Discharge and Thunderbolt are similar enough to where I don't really care. All right, here's our second patch of land. We got a nugget. There's a ton of items here, by the way. Like, pardon me if I miss like one or two. The TM was really kind of the most important thing to get here, but there's a bunch of items. So I'm gonna try, jeez, lots of rock smashes. Uh, was there an item on one of these crystals? Also, these are like, this is like the only place in the entire game that you see any of the sprite sets here. There's. This seems pointless. Why though? I guess just to fill up space in the maze and make you think that you wasted your time, I suppose, huh? Very cool. Uh, yeah, this is a dungeon dungeon, by the way. Cause uh, the, I feel like this game doesn't really make anything too hard by making it a dungeon. Uh, like Ice Cave was probably the hardest it got and that was uh, fairly, fairly short and easy. I guess you could count Victory Road, but Victory Road even at that rate wasn't too bad. She's still nothing. There is an item at the end of this path, though. Man, this is going to eat up my max repels. I bought an extra 27 of them, and that brought us up to 40 before I came in here. So I hope that should last us the rest of the game, though at this rate, I don't know if it's going to last us the rest of the dungeon. Good lord. Yeah, I have plenty of money now, by the way. People said I should uh, go to the Victory Road, or not Victory Road, uh, to the Indigo Plateau to get money. Uh, got news for you. I can't. <laughs> so I'd stop bringing that one up. Uh, it's their level like high 60s. I'm not there. <laughs> Listen, are there any items here? Uh, looks like it. Looks like the one time I've actually chosen to bring Rock Smash when it was a applicable was a good choice. Basically had to though because of a uh, thunderbolt. Wait, was it not? Oh, it's in the wall. That's weird that you would put it in the wall. Hyper potion, not bad. 
basically want to check all the areas here because, uh, okay. Yeah, it's that crystal up there. Okay, I'll keep that in mind for later. I don't know if we already passed that spot or not, but uh, I think we did actually. Because we're pretty close to the entrance. Yeah, right there. Actually, no, hold on. I can quickly grab this here. Easy. Now I need to go see what the other ladder leads to. Man, I love the way they did these crystals. I am so sad that those don't appear anywhere else in the game. It also looks like this area looks really good in Let's Go uh, Pikachu and Eevee. And it's pretty much the entire, the only level in the entire game that looks good at all. Because, uh, listen, I think Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee are is an extremely ugly set of games. Uh, I hate to say it, but like it's true. But they they really did just with all the custom stuff that's in this area because there's stuff here that doesn't appear anywhere else at all. So they're able to go kind of buck wild with it. I don't know. But everything everything in that game tends to look very generic and this place is it's it's what you'd expect out of a dungeon looking completely unique and all that. Okay, so it looks like this area was for a good amount of items. Looks like most of the items you're gonna find here are gonna be hidden, by the way. But they really definitely tried to make it worth your while. They absolutely stuffed this place full of items. All right, let's check out this area. All right, what do we got? Oh boy. Let's try, oh boy. Well. Yeah, see the thing is, oh man, nope, not here. Thing is that even if you go the wrong way, there's a good chance that you're gonna find an item or something. It's like one of the few good mazes that Pokemon has to offer. Normally they'll be like, oh, here's five paths through something and they all have a prize at the end. So even if you wanna find out the correct path, you won't find it I went the right way. All right, well, hmm. Uh, sure, we'll go this way for now. I can always come back in from the entrance, kind of. Oh, oh no, it's right there. Oh man, wonder if that was an alternate path that I could have taken right there. Um, this leads deeper. Oh boy, first time going this deep, I think. There's some rock climb spots. All right, oh boy. Oh man. I need to make a decision whether or not to uh, to continue this path right now or not, or go back and risk losing my spot. I think I'm gonna go back real quick after I grab this. Hold on. Yeah, max revive. All right, yeah. I'm gonna backtrack back to the bridge before we went down the, or up the ladder, I think. So see you in a second. All right, here we are. I just, I know that there's no way that this is, yeah the required path, kind of shown by us just grabbing an item here. It's weird, you can kind of see how like some of the sprite sets kind of don't work right with each other. Like looking at the bridge and the, I don't know, the craggy mountainous thing next to each other. A little bit interesting. Sea incense, oh, what would that get you? Is that our second in sea incense actually? Cause I thought we had another one. We have a wave incense. Sea incense, what would that give you? Cause I, I'm pretty sure the wave incense gives you Mantike. Uh, Azuril, probably, now that I think about it. Time to, yep, town to Dows, town to Dows. Rare candy, uh, does this, oof. does this spot right here send you back to the beginning? because I definitely don't want to jump off if that's the case. Yep, that's a shortcut to the entrance, looks like. Cool. Well, that concludes that path. Uh, there's also a little spot in the maze that I want to explore as well, uh, so I'll meet you there. Actually, I don't have to. It's literally right here. Cut for five seconds, yeah, right. So we went the top path. Let's check the bottom path, because I believe... Yeah, I think this path over here leads to an item. Yeah, you can see it over there. Yep, that's connected. Baller moment. Nothing over here. Keep on moving. Not much to say when you're uh, smashing 10 rocks a second. 
it really makes me wonder like why also i should mention there's a possibility to find items in rocks you smash things like uh the shards there's red blue green and yellow shards that you can trade for i believe moves at a move tutor it, it's different every single game so it's hard i think the odds and senses for why not by the way uh yeah it's just a little odd how they change it every game so i never am able to keep track of what a shard does in each game i believe it's some sort of move tutor in this game and uh anyway i think we have one more path to check because we didn't go well hold on it's this then that ends right there there's no item there this one comes over here an ultra ball you know very useful this late in the game i think i'm pretty well set on that. Oh, this one actually leads to the item we saw earlier. I believe that like pretty much takes care of everything here in the maze then, because we've explored pretty much all of it. Must be this spot. Protein, sweet. Yeah, I can use that, probably. Maybe not because my team has uh, several EVs. Anyway, I'll meet you back on the, uh, through the maze. Meet you back at the uh, spot that we're supposed to go. And top spot got a level. I figured I might as well train a little bit while I'm walking through here since I got to do it anyway. Uh, also, the Pokemon here are around level 40, so prepare yourself for that, I suppose. Alrighty, we are back. Um, okay, well, I need to make some decisions here. There's like three ways to go. Let's try this first. Yeah, I brought Cubone, not Electabuzz. Thank you. You're welcome. Looks like this can just basically lead to the same path, so that's fine. This seems like what an optional path would look like. I don't know if rock climb is required to get to the, uh, thing. Oh, Lord. These are long paths. I, I want to check the top, then, in that case, because I got a feeling it's got a little something-something for us. Uh, what about this path? This isn't... Yeah. That didn't look like it led to anything important. Dusk stone, though. Not the first place you can find it, but... It's something. I believe it's for Miss Mistrevis to evolve. Maybe also uh, Murkrow. So a couple of Johto Pokemon. This felt like a optional path. Or maybe it's just one large area that actually connects to each other. You know, like games should be, to be honest. Oh boy. Or like the uh, Pokemon dungeons should be to be honest you know i was thinking about it this kind of reminds me of this is going to be a reach for anyone who's interested in pokemon but kind of reminds me a little bit of the final dungeon oh well it must be behind that the final dungeon in final fantasy i want to say it's three because you're literally kind of in like a crystal tower kind of deal let's surf why don't we I believe the Pokemon you could find here are kind of just the basic, like, Psyduck, Poliwag, and Magikarp families, as it always is, which is kind of disappointing, but still. Yo, yo. So I think we explored all the ways back over there to the left. Pretty sure. Just gonna check all these instead of... Yeah, I'm bringing up my dowsing... Dowsing radar, is it called? I don't know. Then I bring it up anyway. Okay, it's just right there. Easy. And what do we got? It's like I, I didn't I didn't check to see what items were in this dungeon because I also, number one, didn't want to spoil myself to the dungeon really because it's it's the ultimate dungeon. I'm not gonna look up a guide beforehand like I did for a few others. Like uh Mount Mortar is a uh, very mazy, so I did look it up a little bit because I wanted to figure out where I was going. Whirl Island too. I wanted to make sure that I went to the right spot last. Electrizer. That's the only one in the game, I'm pretty sure, for evolving an Electabuzz when you trade it holding the item. Electivire being a very good Pokemon. I believe a lot of people run it with all of the elemental punches. Well, not all of them because obviously it gets better electric type moves, but you know what I mean. Fire Punch, Ice Punch. I uh, think a lot of people would run, I don't know, I don't know, Volt Switch, maybe? I don't know. Volt Switch. Hi! <laughs> well, <laughs> hello. 
I didn't know we were at that point already. Also, hello, Ditto. Good lord. Well, I definitely want to see what's in the bottom right corner of the map because that's definitely hiding a little secret something. Good god. I was- I'm so happy that it doesn't, like, activate a cutscene when you run into it. Yeah, I saw the Pokeball in the corner of the screen. Because it definitely would have caught me off guard and I would have had to, uh, reset. That's for sure. What is that? Black Sludge. Ooh, that's an item that I believe will poison a Pokemon holding it unless you're a poison type. And in that case, it starts to heal you. Which is a very good item to have if your enemy, like, has Trick or Switcheroo, which will swap items with the, uh, opponent. Um, I didn't want to go in here. So, Giraffe Rig. Hmm. See, what I could do is I could try to lead with Giraffe Rig to get some damage off and then swap to Daisy to see if I can't put it to sleep and get really good odds on this. I think that's going to be the plan for this first go. If it doesn't work out, I might swap to Lantern in front so I could just start popping off discharges to try and get a Paralyze. That is the plan. If I remember correctly... Oops. And if I remember correctly... It doesn't even have a theme. You hate to see it. You really, really do. This is a level 70 Mewtwo, also skinny legend in this game, I gotta say. Um, yeah, I'm gonna start crunching. So, I am resistant to all of Mewtwo's stab. However, Mewtwo is still Mewtwo, so I'm gonna be taking a lot of damage re regardless. And I think uh, Top Spot's really the only Pokemon that could at all tank most of that. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. This should bring it down almost perfectly. Guard Swap. Uh, all those changes. Okay, it's not actually changing the stat. Okay, 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 we're good. That should bring it down pretty perfectly. Okay, another drop. I kind of didn't want that. Um, I don't know. Psychic, just so I don't knock it out. Psychic's half uh, with a 1.5 stab. It's going to bring it up. Yeah, yeah. Plus, it won't use those uh, defense. What are you doing? <laughs> Do you just not have anything effective against me? So you're guard swapping? Mewtwo, ladies and gentlemen, the most powerful Pokemon on Earth. Oh yeah, I'll hit you with... Actually, I don't think it'll matter if I hit you or not. Um, hey, so while we have a bit of a tank against you, apparently, let's throw some Dusk Balls. Again, Mewtwo is in a cave, so you're always going to have that times four multiplier to your catch rate. Love to see it. Yeah, man, this might be our best opportunity to get something good off. I feel like I'm afraid that if I swap to uh, Daisy, it's immediately going to be like, ah, yes, time for Psychic. So I'm afraid, but I'm going to do it anyway, because it seems to be set on those guard swaps. Um, so I'm like, hmm. Oh, great, there's Amnesia. Special defense, okay. That doesn't matter, I don't think. Uh, yawn. Yep, it's still using guard swap. I don't, listen, listen, I don't know. It definitely has psycho cut, which wouldn't actually do much, like it wouldn't knock us out at least because of Daisy's stellar defense. Um, psycho cut is a move that uses the user's special attack stat, but uses the enemy's physical defense stat. And it's one of a uh, very few moves that do that. Uh, what does he- wait. No. No, Psycho Cut is a physical move outright. I'm thinking of Psyshock, which I think it might also have. And I don't know why. Anyway, it's about to fall asleep and we're about to get the easiest catch of all time. Don't you worry about it. This is going to be easy. Because uh, I want to say- so like I was looking at uh, catch rates for most legendary Pokemon when they're asleep and in the dark. It's like 8%, which sounds tiny, but for legendary captures, if you catch it in 10 balls, that's like, that's a, the easiest catch of your life. Hold on, let's make this a little easier and just make it like, so when you mash through menus, uh, it'll choose the most recently chosen option. And so I'm just gonna have it choose the uh, 
the auto use item at the bottom. Wait, it's not actually doing that. Weird. But uh, that'll get us through the menus a little faster. Did, have I ever talked about how that bottom little slot there uses the item that you've most recently used? I feel like I've never actually talked about that. It's very nice because when you're trying to catch a legendary Pokemon, you can kind of just mash the bottom left corner of your screen and it'll automatically just keep using Pokeballs. Uh oh, so what's this gonna do? A little more, actually that's very, very, very slightly less than half. So that's actually great for us. Also quick claw because easy wins all day. Easy wins. And there it goes for the amnesia again. Okay, I can live with that. Um, hmm. I might... Yeah, I'm gonna heal Daisy here. Because the way I see it, Mewtwo's not asleep right now. So if it attacks, it may or may not knock out Daisy. I want to keep Daisy alive to basically put it to sleep again. So... This is, this is, I'm thinking about the long run. This is also the last legendary that we have to catch for now. So I'm kind of willing to, oh, nope. Okay, good, good thing that had another menu. I'm also willing to just kind of blow a lot of our catching items because there's not gonna be, we're not gonna have much use for battle items for a while. So I'm gonna use them up. And by the time I will need them again, we're gonna be rich beyond belief, so. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Could I please? Li I listen, listen. I know you're the ultimate life form, but you need to get catched. Another psycho cut. Disgusting. That's a crit. Good. I'm glad I used that hyper potion. All right. Well, here's my uh, argument now. You have plus four special defense due to those amnesias. I'm gonna use Discharge to try and uh, get ya. I think Lantern should be able to tank this with more than half. That's another crit, isn't it? Good stuff, good stuff. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Bellsprout, do you have like sleep powder or something? No, you don't. I mean, I don't know how worth this is finishing because I have no way to... Like, dude, you crit both of my, like... Hold on. I have ways to fix this. You crit both of my status dealers, so what am I supposed to do? Guard swap. Okay. Yeah, we're doing this, huh? It's like I'd like to to swap out to uh man i cannot remember the name of daisy uh daisy i'm trying to swap out i want to swap out to daisy but i don't know if like i want to risk just taking that damage immediately probably not nope yeah i just i think our chances catching it just straight out is incredibly bad also i just realized Mewtwo's been using Amnesia, and it's been guard swapping with us. It's probably gotten rid of those Amnesia boosts by now. Which is not the best choice on their part. Um, I'm gonna just go ahead and slap another Hyper Potion onto Daisy. The chances of a third crit from Psycho Kai. I, I realize it has a raised crit rate now, but that's still like a 12% crit chance, I believe. I gotta. I gotta do it. Also, Mewtwo's gonna run out of PP real quick here, by the way. Just so you know. Watch, Psycho Cut. Yep, every time. Yeah, cool. It's uh, less than half once again. Quick Claw, you love to see it. Easy every time, I swear it. And there's the guard swap. Yeah, if I remember, I think uh, Giraffarig probably had that uh, defense boost and it got rid of it when I swapped out, so, yeah. I, I don't think I'm really gonna bother just even throwing Duskwalls when it's not asleep at this point, because 
the chance is like like sleep multiplies your chance to catch by like five or something if i remember it's not like a straight up or down like five times multiplier but like it's effectively around that much so i'm gonna like like that's important to do i believe paralyzation is like a three times multiplier to your catch rate i don't know that for sure but it's like again somewhere in that ballpark Jeez, this is gonna be actually difficult, isn't it? Man, man. I mean, it's, it's like, it's gotta be hard because it is one of the hardest fights. So sleep, beautiful, you love to see it. Easy every time. I am about half down on my dusk balls now. All right, y'all get the gist, right? Let's let's just uh let's let's not belabor this. All right, so I'm going to say this thing handily has wiped me. I have one more ball to use. Uh I don't think I'm going to get very far. Uh it obviously I ran out of PP actually with Yawn. So even if uh even if Daisy was alive, I really wouldn't be able to do much to it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna call it there. Let's try again. Hey, there it is. That was the, that was the second try. That wasn't actually terrible. Uh, took, took a little bit of time because I have to set up, like putting it to sleep. I used several revives on Daisy, but that's fine. Anyway, because of its because its battles abil battle abilities were raised to the ultimate level, it only thinks of defeating its foes. Very cool, very baller. We have a Mewtwo now. Uh, if you were playing Gold and Silver, this dungeon would be a lot lot tinier. I don't remember to what extent, but uh, I want to say it's just like one room, and what you find here is the Berserk Gene. The Berserk Gene is an item exclusive to gold and silver and uh it doesn't really i don't remember what it does i want to say it basically acts as like you know berserker mode where you can't choose your attacks but you have increased attack power i believe it's that um also if you bring a mew into here mew will act strangely because it senses mewtwo's presence and want to like leave which i thought was uh really cool um, if you talk to it, that is. Also, I want to, you know what? Just curious. What would a psychic Pokemon like Girafferig say to all this? Forgot it was flashed. Feeling an unusual presence. Okay. Now I'm curious if that actually only affects psychic types or if that's kind of just what they all say. Vithan is scared and snuggled up. Oh, cute. Uh, I guess not really many Pokemon like it. I just think it's interesting to show that off since it's such a unique area. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. In the next one, we don't have any more legendaries to catch. So now we're going to be moving on to all of the optional little mini games that are available to us now uh, before moving on to some harder battles. See you all then, and goodbye. <laughs>